Hey everyone, this is Lightstar and I'm excited because we're going to talk about eclipse season. Yes, that is coming upon us as we close out this you know, few months in the year. And so I wanted to bring uh, some images that are coming up that relate to the eclipses. And I'm starting off with uh, one of my newer images having to do with the lunar eclipse. So we're going to get into all that good stuff. So make sure you grab your coffee, your tea, your health bar, or whatever you would like. And let's get into this awesome a new image. And also I'm going to do a very powerful activation for you guys with light language to help you uh, with the content of what's going on with the eclipse season and the lunar eclipse, especially. So let's get right to it. Welcome back everyone. This is Lightstar and I'm really excited. You guys are all here. Welcome to my channel. And for those of you that are new, I would love to have you guys join this tribe as I like to call it, even though YouTube calls it subscribe, I call it joining the tribe. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and also make sure to hit the notification bell so that you don't miss a thing. And thank you all for uh, being here. I also am on a lot of other platforms as well, like BitChute, Brighteon, and uh, Rumble, and Odyssey, and different thing, places like that. So if you wanna check me out there, you can also do that. I um, Usually these videos roll out after this one is up here on YouTube, but you can find it out over there. So feel free to go ahead and do that. And for those of you guys that need assistance with your own uh, moving to a different platform, maybe you've gotten censored, or maybe you just want to expand, I have a great resource. His name is Matthew Raymer with Anomalous Design and Content Safe, and his information is below. He really helped me out uh, move platforms and expand, so I really highly recommend him if you are looking to do that kind of thing. And he also helps out with website development and all of that too. So great resource there. And for those of you guys that would like to donate to my platform, I'm so appreciative of all of you guys have, who have donated uh, in the past. And if you'd like to donate, I do have a, play, a Patreon uh, site, so you can go to my Patreon and donate there. Or you can also just donate by PayPal and the links are also below so you can check all that stuff out. I so appreciate that because I work really hard at these videos bringing content for you guys. And um, it takes a lot of my time, obviously energy and time, and I do all my own video and editing and that all is takes a lot of time. So I really appreciate your support in uh, donations to my work. And um, I just really thank you guys for that. Uh, there is another way to, to also do this on YouTube where you can actually hit the, um, it's called Super Thanks. It's kind of a new feature and it's down there by the like button, which obviously put a thumbs up and share the video, comment. I always like to read comments and respond back to people. So it's a good way to uh, interact and it makes these videos a lot better as well. So please feel free to do that. But there is a super thanks down there around by the like button. And you can also um, just give me a little donation there too. So that's another way, lots of different ways, right? Um, but I just really appreciate you guys being there and I'm excited to get into the content um, that we have for you today. And so I'm just gonna dive right into this because I wanna share this new image that I've created that is going into my Magical Dimensions Oracle deck, the second edition that will be out in several years from now. But I'm sharing it now because we're coming up on eclipses and we have one coming up on in November. So this is going to be the lunar eclipse. And so I want to share this image because I like to include astrologers in my new uh, upcoming Oracle deck that's coming out, you know, the second edition, um, because I felt like astrology is, it's not something I am an expert at or any of that, but I do feel like a lot of my clients like to utilize astrology and I wanted to include that in my next upcoming deck. And also just the image as well is really powerful to work with. Um, 
uh, by itself. But I wanted to share it and also about what's going on in the image and also the energies of what's coming up for this eclipse, eclipse that's coming up as well. So I'm just gonna show it up on screen here and lo and behold, surprise, it's actually called Lunar Eclipse. So shocking, right? But I'm also going to share another image the end of this month or the beginning of December because there's a solar eclipse coming up in December. So I wanna share that one as well uh, when that's relevant coming up. And so these two are kind of related, but these are both gonna be included. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share the information, description information that I wrote about this image so we can get a better idea of what's coming up in this um, energies for the eclipse, okay? So we've got the lunar eclipse and it's on November 19th, um, I believe 18th and 19th, depending on where you are. And it's gonna be a lunar eclipse in Taurus Okay, so, but I'm gonna read the information about this so that we have an idea of what this is all relating to. So we've got lunar eclipse attuned to the color, uh, sacred color ray of moonstone color ray, and it has to do with changes, completion, and revelations. And the celestial interpretation is, the moonstone color ray resonates to the character traits of confrontation, transmutation, adaptation, and can also signify beginnings or endings depending on the situation. This enigmatic ray is influenced by lunar energies and will initiate shadows and toxic emotions to bubble to the surface when the lunar eclipse is present. It is like the scorpion venturing out from underneath the rocks. At some point, it will have to depart from the shadows and navigate out into the light. And the Oracle interpretation, this card indicates a time of releasing and conclusion. You may be prompted to end a chapter in your life, so emotions may run deep. However, this won't last long, just enough for you to extract the lessons. Be willing to say goodbye to old patterns, beliefs, or ideologies, and adapt to the ebb and flow of the tides, for consistent change is part of life. Spontaneous, eye-opening news could also be on the horizon, so brace yourself. And the companion crystals I have for, uh, for this particular image is Moonstone, obviously, and Blue Obsidian, and then uh, Nutmeg for the companion essential oils. Okay, so that's just some information that I wanted to share about the image itself because we do have this coming up. Now, since we have this uh, lunar eclipse that's coming up in Taurus, okay, so what does Taurus have to do with? Taurus is the grounded, right? Very here and now, the earthy sign, if you will. Uh, but it's an earth sign. But it has to do a lot with um, the this this realm. Okay, so this is finances and things of health and you know feelings of of uh, gratitude or worthiness or abundance or lack or things in those uh, regions are very important here. So if we're looking at it on a smaller level, we're um, our level, meaning the micro level in our lives, we're looking at things like, we're probably gonna be taking a look at our financial situation, okay? That could also be on the macro level. In the external world, where we're really starting to look at the financial world and what's going on with that, taking some, there may be some things that will cause disruption or some things ending in those departments. And in our lives, it's to uh, also to look at our finances very carefully in how we are taking care of ourselves, how we're taking care of uh, if maybe we're burdened by certain things that are coming up in the finances and we need to restructure some things in our lives. That may be something that we're not wanting to do <laughs> or it may be something that we're ready to do and yes, you're gonna, you know, release a whole aspect of your life that just needs to go away or you know release it but it may also be unexpected and something may come up or that you haven't anticipated 
So it's really about this transition and um, also practicing self-care at this time. I'm feeling like also that's important for it may come up in the health department for you or somebody else. It might come up in their career or their finances or the home because Taurus also has to do with real estate and matters of the home. So there may be something that's going to have to shift or move into that area or you might have to make some decisions to um, you know, change some things in that area of your home life, okay? So just being conscious of what's coming up and what might be shifting or changing in that way. And also making sure to be very grounded because we wanna be, uh, you know, Taurus is a grounded uh, sign. So we wanna make sure we're really grounding ourselves and you know, so nothing, this, this eclipse is really, going to be really important for us to ground ourselves so that nothing can throw us off course. So if we need to make some adjustments and we need to release something out of our life or change something about the way we're doing something, now is a good time to do that. And it's probably going to come up anyway, even if you don't. So usually these are things that you don't want to ignore. You don't want to shuffle it under the carpet and, oh, I'll deal with it later. It's kind of like, um, no, <laughs> eclipses are more about Literally, what are you needing to eclipse out of your life, especially in the lunar eclipse, because you know that's where we're at. And that hits us more in the emotional uh, center, okay? So it's kind of a difficult sometimes to release type of time. But we know if we do these things, if we set in motion these things that we need to take care of or address in our life, be it health, be it uh, finances, or our situations at home, and we do this, you know, then we will be better off in the long run. So don't ignore things, okay? <laughs> this is like, we have to kind of be radical about it. And this, this does have to do with radical self change so that we can make sure we make these shifts that are gonna be long lasting for us in the, in the positive, in a better uh, way that we're doing it, taking care of ourselves, taking care of our home life, our finances, getting ourselves situated and doing the adjustments that need to happen in order to uh, make those positive shifts, okay? So it will illuminate things in your life of how you've been building, how you've been structuring and where you need to restructure or do things differently, okay? So that's gonna be really important um, for everybody that's been moving around and shifting around and making these transitions this year. As we all know, this has been a challenging year for, well, transitions and change and will continue to do so i feel i feel but this has been an exaggerated time right now for everyone feeling like their feet are not really on the ground not really that centered and grounded and we need to shift that okay so that's kind of primary um but i feel like this was important so many of you guys may be making some turning points or changes and to have the courage and strength to make those changes necessary you know as they have to be happening in your life and as it needs to come forth and so in the image as you can see here you can see that she's um there's a couple of things going on here i just want to point out where it's kind of like that feeling of going within and sometimes it's difficult and challenging when we go inward and we kind of feel alone and we feel sort of off to the side so we have one of the uh, women in this in this image sitting under a tree just kind of closed down a little bit you know you know feeling alone and and scared and not really sure of what she's doing and not really confident of herself and what's happening but having to review some things in life okay and then we see the other woman who's actually in creation mode of um showing kind of showing the other woman that everything's going to be okay you just have to you know ship things around Things may not be visible, which is kind of where you can see the transparent uh, geometry shape being built in the middle. It's like things may not be there yet, may not quite be there the way that you want them, but there is something happening underneath the surface that is really going to build upon it. It's like a pyramid. So there's building and there's restructuring going on that you may or may not be able to see all of it and so um, that's kind of where I wanted to point this out because it's very important to look at the different cycles of um, you know, things that happen in our lives. 
So I wanted to share this and I think it's really a really awesome image of lunar eclipse. Obviously we have the moon and the water and the watery elements that are on the land as well to exemplify the emotions that we might be feeling at this time. And so to um, help with all of this, I always like to bring a uh, light language activation at the end to just kind of solidify all this. What I was feeling here is there's um, some assistance that I feel maybe coming forth here for uh, just to anchor and honor all of these different changes and things that you might have to do that you aren't really excited about doing because they're difficult areas to look at. Okay, it's like, it is kind of a shining a light on something that a spotlight on something and it's, it's like sort of shining a spotlight on, let's just use an insect that is like a scorpion or something. You shine a light on it. It's like, oh no, you see me, oh my gosh. And trying to run and scurry and get underneath the rock again. And that's what we want to uncover and that's what we want to face and confront and look at head on. Okay, so that's the energy that's going to come forth with this uh, light language activation. Okay, so as I do this again, as I always like to tell you guys, just put your mind off to the side, allow the energy to come through your body and whatever wants to shift and change. Some of you may feel sad because you're releasing and some of you may feel elated. Some of you may shift. It just depends on what's going on with you but just um, keep that open mind to, and that open heart, and most especially, to uh, looking at what's going on and feeling what's going on. But that's what it's doing is, um, what I'm gonna go into is to shift and change and help you to uh, anchor that in, okay? So, here we go, guys. So just sit off to the side with your eyes closed, eyes open, it really doesn't matter, just be in the space of this energy of the lunar eclipse coming up. Gimazdas al aljeg nez zudagai me gedi azaga ga yejogo. Zudo zana da namageje, zudo magehigari ezegen di ala jagoga. Sayinge uga da na zagamaji de zugo guyana, da izodo gunje ige wa da nagar. Zudo zondagi mi a jogumbaga. Bere ize uga lezendaji uga imede, huna sa ajige. Honasa agije, honasa ija ugla gniz, anzodagan ideg u ajandag, helega ezo, hun ale e di agewa gajana asma, zizundo guje in derana sarmagalas. Zare andagai i ga galma alejondo, zudo magai zi zi zanda al zai, zoro zundo ege Malala Zangir, Zandi Jidia da Alalezegi. Ikiwaka asana isa taasio, sonana si iwakashi isi ita akama ashate, mana asu erasa, 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 saito urakani. Saisi tan arama asti isi ka eko to so ko haki ana si te ita ka ham ashi sana a to so ona asu i iti kwa hite na atai zinge re anda ya za ya ma ya Zandi zi zi yengi wea ya ya nda ya nda ya nda ya nda yu 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 
Zion de di gi ga ga yan da de zo do ko jo ra ro re o re o de yi da de yan san da yo ka ma yan da ya da yan da ya da ma yan an de o re o re o zi Zion de zura go rando Hey Yite sakaya tan a saiti u shayeke dayana Saite ua kagi itisea Ishi shona anma saiti se Ua ki heke na ala tal e sentiu o omakite sisan asa antore eme iki wakayen saite isea akawa. Besiti i taite unsa ewa gaite shiana aisa ema atai nekwa ente asana mite uenese ukoshena atai sayana sayana sayana. Okay, guys, take a nice deep breath in and feel the energy, feel that support and that love coming forth. That was some interesting uh, toning that came forth to also help you to clear and to uh, release some of this old stuff so that you can have some empowerment with you to take a look at what you need to take a look at in this uh, lunar eclipse season in Taurus. So, Thumbs up, right? Hope you guys enjoyed that. As usual, I always like to uh, share my, um, you know, things that I do with you guys at the end. So if you'd like to work with me privately, I have a whole bunch of different types of sessions. I have my um, starseed alignment sessions, my healing shield attunement sessions. I've got my custom artwork that I provide and obviously all of my uh, work that I do, which is all of my art. You can get this image as well as any of the other images in uh, on your walls to work with you uh, even further or even in your hands in a smaller sense. Um, I have it as photo metallic paper. I have me uh, metallic uh, gator foam mouth prints as well as metal uh, prints, the aluminum, beautiful aluminum, and any of the different types of um, you know, services I have. I also do session work and all that kind of stuff with uh, custom art as well. So you can check all of that stuff out. My Oracle deck, my music activations, my 444 music, as well as my uh, Transcension 2222. Those are super powerful. Highly recommend you get those if you haven't already and um, all of those things. So if you need any assistance, I'm there for you all to assist you with stepping up your game and to assist where you're stuck if you are or shifting to new careers, whatever you're trying to do. I have a lot of different things or just finding out who you are, right, to begin with. And that's what my Starseed Alignment sessions are and also working with you to uh, clear some things out of the way. So lots of different uh, ways I can assist you. So please go on to my website at lightstarcreations.com and you can check all of that stuff out. And um, I also have my new calendar. I forgot about that. My new calendar that just came out, fleece blankets, all different kinds of stuff that are there for you to help you in um, many different ways. And as I always like to do also at the end here is to send you guys off with so much love and support from the galactics, the angelics and the elementals and the fairies and all those different realms that are around you. And most especially working with your higher self and also your own spiritual guides that come in to assist you. And they know, know that they are all around you. They love you and they are there for your assistance. Okay. So we will be back next time. Um, and in the meantime, I love you guys. And thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye. 
Hello everyone, this is Lightstar, and I'm very excited to share my 2022 Dimensions 9 wall calendar with you guys today. It comes in two sizes, it's full color, and it is ready for purchase. And I've also included the lunar phases and the eclipses because I've had a lot of requests in the past for this, and I did it last year, and I know a lot of you guys really loved it. So I'm going to show you just a few different snapshots of the images so you can see what all 12 months will look like, but it's absolutely beautiful. And the images here are going to be a combination of some of the images that will be in my new upcoming future Oracle decks that will be coming out in the next, oh, let's just say a few years of time. And so I just wanted to share this with you guys today so you can get a little feel for what these are. I, it's beautiful, the little icons are all there for you guys to track your moon phases and also the eclipses. And I've also included just a little bit of a splash of color on the month itself so that that just kind of flows with the design and it looks really nice. And you've got the full image here you can also purchase the full images in any other type of art uh, on my website in terms of photo images and different types of paper. But um, just wanting to share this beautiful calendar with you guys, you can go onto my website at lightstarcreations.com and you'll be able to see the images and you'll be able to see this much bigger and you can purchase it all there and I'm excited for you all so you can enjoy this beautiful calendar all year round.